Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. Hope you are all having a fantastic day. Um, I knew it was not having a fantastic day. Phoenix Suns fans, because yet again, the owner of the team has screwed over that fanboy base royalties. So with the shutdown going on, we all know that a lot of players are going on podcasts and, you know, talking about their personal life and all sorts of stuff like that. So it turns out back in 2017, the Phoenix Suns were very interested in drafting Jason Tatum. You know, he was, he was at the uh, the draft combine, the workouts, doing all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I even just read an article that the draft notes had him ranked as like the number one player they wanted to take. But I guess there was some sort of like awkward exchange between the owner and Jason Tatum to the point where the owner said that Tatum was too much like Devin Booker. Said, we don't need Jason Tatum. We want Josh Jackson. Contrary to the draft notes of the draft experts, the scouts saying that Jason Tatum was, you know, the player they actually wanted to go for, right? Uh, hopefully that makes sense, man. For today's video, just for Phoenix Suns fans, we are going to be doing a Jason Tatum Phoenix Suns rebuild, guys. Um, now, before we get going to today's video, if you do enjoy these what if rebuilds, you want me to do more of them, if you don't mind dropping a like on this video so I know you like this type of content, 1,000 likes is always the goal. And then, of course, if you are one of the 50% of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed, guys, trying to be great out here, man, trying to grow the channel, trying to get my dream, you know, driveway that I can have a basketball hoop on. You know, I want like a big ass driveway, man, so I can shoot hoops, work on my three point shot, and all that stuff, man. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. So, yeah, I was thinking the best way to tackle this, uh, and I decided to go straight into the 2019 2020 NBA season because, you know, I didn't really want to go back two years ago because at that point, um, I don't think a lot would have changed within the Phoenix Suns. Now, this season would have been a different type of story just because Jason Tatum, now a 20 plus point band score, uh, really coming into his own as an all star, right? So it would have led up to this point, I think. And I think the Phoenix Suns would have been great because of it. And as far as like the draft goes, uh, Josh Jackson wasn't really traded for a lot, you know, for really for a lot. So no real big time changes to the roster would have happened. I still think they would have ended up getting the number one pick, which was DeAndre Ayton so yeah it should be good to go here man but uh this rebuild should be a lot of fun to do because this team is just a just a different type of beast with Jason Tatum at the helm so we got him at power four Devin Booker at the two spot DeAndre at the three absolutely love that for a big three all under the age of 22 that is beautiful and then you got Kelly Oubre right there it's only 23 himself uh really the perfect small forward for this team uh you got Ricky Rubio I mean, to be quite honest, Ricky Rubio on this team actually isn't so bad just because, you know, he has another piece to work with out there um, just, you know, as far as getting the basketball too. So that's kind of interesting. I, I still think we do better down the road with it but and all that stuff, man, but we'll see how it all goes. You got Aaron Baines for a backup center, Mikkel Bridges, uh, Frank Kaminsky, Czech Diallo, Cam Johnson. Uh, Cam Johnson is another guy I think eventually that could become a really solid sharpshooter for this team. I just think it's a matter of time, uh, but it's just like, you know, he was another kind of example in the draft where people were kind of questioning the decisions of management. Now, I'm not saying Cam Johnson is a bust or anything like that. We don't really know. But, uh, you know, as of right now, nobody's really sure. So I think to start this rebuild off, I am going to toss Cam Johnson into the G League. Eventually, I think he'd be a fantastic backup to Jason Tatum. Uh, but as far as this first season goes here, man, like, I really actually just want to see how this team does. Like, I don't want to make any big-time changes to it, because uh, that's what it would be. It would be this squad with Jason Tatum. Then after this season, you know, if we don't really reach our potential, uh, then we'll kind of make some changes from there. So I think Frank Kaminsky will go ahead and toss him at the uh, power forward position. He actually goes up to an 80 overall. Damn, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, Javon Carter actually realistically would not even be on this team. So we'll put him at center because he would not actually be playing right now. Uh, we'll go with Ty Jerome for the backup point guard of the squad because he was actually part of the Josh Jackson trade. Javon Carter was. Uh, so yeah, man, we will rock with... Actually, no, my boy Ellie Okobo. I like Okobo. I didn't like you when you were in uh, Luke Kennard trade rumors, but I do like Ellie Okobo. So yeah, man, this is the team we're going to rock with for this season. Uh, as far as predictions, you know... I think this season is all about just making the playoffs. Like, I'm not going to write off this team as a contender quite yet. It's, you know, it's just a little bit too young for my liking. But I do think they're in the right direction, man. So let's go ahead, simulate this first NBA season. Kind of make this more like a what if before the rebuild. So what if Jason Tatum was on the Phoenix Suns? I'm going to say probably, you know, the bench depth. It's not bad. But, uh, 44 four wins is my prediction could be a little bit better we'll see let's simulate the season and see what happens okay so we're at the end of the regular season guys i was on point with this prediction 47 and 34 one more game against the los angeles lakers 
actually hoping for an L right here so my prediction is correct and finish with a W on the season uh Giannis MVP John Moran rookie of the year Nurkic as six man Kawhi defensive player Bam most improved and Mike Bud as the coach of the year uh, all NBA first all NBA second and all NBA third looking like that so nobody from the Phoenix Suns but I still love the dynamic of the team here guys and I think that's my biggest thing about Devin Booker is that I do understand that I think that Devin Booker is looked upon as underrated um just because he does so many great things out there but you know I like him as number one option I love him as number two option which is what he would be in this case with Jason Tatum but we are the uh, fifth seed in the Western Conference so that's pretty exciting you know Phoenix Suns in the playoffs and stuff player stats on the season 24 points five assists for Devin Booker uh 23 points six rebounds two assists for Jason Tatum and then we got DeAndre Ayton at 14 points 10 rebounds two blocks you know Ayton definitely does have really high potential uh, I just really think he's continued to work on his outside shot and stuff like that. Kelly played pretty good at 13 points, 5 rebounds. Ricky Rubio, I love the 11 assist. He actually played uh, fantastic for us. 3-point uh, shot, 35%, so not great. DeAndre Ayton, actually a low-key 32% off two attempts per game is really nice. And then uh, the rest of the bench unit, we got Frank Kaminsky, Aaron Baines doing some work out there. Mikel Bridges, who I love. Eli Okobo at 4-2. and two. And then, uh, is that Terrell Owens? No, Tarek Owens. Okay. And then we got the man, uh, Cam Johnson, as a 76 overall. He should be ready to ball out next season for us. So here we go. First round, Golden State Warriors. Um, I'm not liking my chances against Steph Curry in the first round. But then again, you never really know here, man. Maybe we'll upset them. Or we'll be on to a second round. And we do. We beat them four games to one. There we go. Upset City. Um, nothing like getting past a team like the Warriors to give your team confidence going forward. 28-7 and seven for Jason Tatum. Next up, we do got the number one seed, Los Angeles Lakers. Not expecting to win this. And, uh, yeah, they get us four games to zero. That's okay. Not even upset about that. We are in a good running going forward. Big game for Devin Booker. 39 points, 9 for 16 from 3. And uh, Tatum, you know, a little pass of that game. But uh, it's all good, guys, because now we go into the offseason and we can make the changes we need to make going forward. And quite honestly, I could see myself trading away uh, DeAndre Ayton. Like, if the price is right, I could see myself trading him away. Let's go to the staff signing first. Not saying I am going to, but you know, man, you never really know. Uh, so we still got Monte Williams, C, C plus, B minus. You know what? We're going to get crazy out here. We're going to fire him. We bring back Mike D'Antoni. He's got so many, he's got such a good offensive mindset that, uh, he can really get this team playing nice together, hopefully, or it will fail miserably, and that will be the end of that, but I don't know. I remember him from the Phoenix Suns days, so I always liked him. I don't remember if it was a, a bad, awkward ending with him. It probably was. Usually when you fire somebody, it's never good, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit up the, uh, NBA draft here, and, you know, it's not gonna be a great draft pick, but maybe a good backup point guard we can find in here. That'd be nice, and, uh, yeah, it is the 22nd pick in the draft. So, as far as players available, yo, I like Trey Jones a lot. You know what? I'm going to take Trey Jones. Good scoring point guard out of Duke. Like to see that. All right. He's on the team. So, he has a 73 overall. Probably be in the G League. Uh, Chuck Diallo, 76 overall. I don't. Well, I'll bring him back for $1 million. I don't know if uh, Aaron Baines is going to want a lot of money or something. Elio Kubo, bring him back also. Uh, qualifying offers. Tarek. Javon Carter, Jared Harper, I will not offer to any of them. Now, we are, we are in the moratorium period. So, not really a lot of money to work with here, which is kind of why I want to improve this team via trade. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what I can get for DeAndre Ayton, who's, you know, so only, who's only got one year left on his contract anyway, and Ricky Rubio. Like, if I get, like, a superstar point guard, I will even toss in a future first-round pick. Um, I'm all over that type of trade. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's nice. I don't see why the 76ers do this. Because they already got Joel Embiid. But I mean, you know, it's a what if, right? Yeah, what, 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 what if what if the damn 76ers trade Joel Embiid? Hey, it's a whole new video, right? It's a whole new video. Uh, oh, we got Kemba Walker. You know, that's actually not bad right there. Boston Celtics get three really nice pieces out of it, and they get a draft pick. That's actually really solid for us right there, guys. I might have to do that one. Jonas Velachunas, John Collins, Clint Capella. Bam out of bio, Tyler Hero. Uh, these are all really good traits for us here, man. Uh, Marvin Bagley, De'Aaron Fox. You know, that takes care of our point guard position and instantly takes care of our center position. And uh, Marvin Bagley is like a type of center that I would actually really like to have on this team. You know, a 6 11 guy that could put the ball on the, uh, you know, on the floor and do some things with that. That could be interesting. Like, obviously not as good as DeAndre Ayton yet, but still has a lot of good potential out there. Chris Thomas, Porzingis, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, okay. James Wiseman, I saw Pascal Siakam, of course. 
would be great, but don't really have room for him in this lineup. LaMelo, Steven Adams. All right, man. We are getting offered up so much here. I, I, love, the, I, I love the Ben Simmons trade here, guys. Um, it just sounds like a lot of fun. Is it okay if I do a trade purely out of fun? Now, the Kemba Walker one, though, makes a little bit more realistic sense. Plus, we get Sky Lewis. Sky Lewis can be nice for us off the bench, a three-star player. Um, I think Ben Simmons' trade is probably better, but for realism reasons. You know, Boston Celtics going to do a full-on rebuild or something. I don't really know. Uh, we're going to go with Kemba Walker, guys. Kemba Walker for our scoring point guard on this team. And now that does kind of leave us without a center. We got Aaron Baines, I guess. But uh, he actually might want a pretty large contract, more than we can afford to give him. Or, uh, yeah, he wants $9 million, and we simply cannot afford that. So it might be, have to be some more trades to get ourselves a starting center. I think we still got Frank Kaminsky, too. But uh, we got Czech, who I really don't want to play all that much, but we'll see how that kind of goes. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much good at the small forward spot. Backup point guard, I guess we can use one of those. I'll give JJ Barrier a contract, you know, hoping that he doesn't fall off too much. But, uh, yeah, we'll get him on the team, guys. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season, though. Okay, so this is the starting five as of right now. Definitely a really solid team. I want to look for a little bit of a better starting center, though. As you guys all know, the bench unit is actually really solid, too. Like, if we can just be that for our nine-man rotation, I'll be happy. But I will definitely have to give up some pieces, though. So let's uh, do a trade of... Do I really need Frank Kaminsky? 81 overall player. One year left on his contract. Might be a good idea to maybe uh, chuck him away for something. Now that we got Brea and Trey Jones to really put into the G League. Uh, Eli Okubo probably can be disposed of right here. That makes him sound like a freaking hitman. And uh, let's toss in a future first round draft. Hey guys, see what type of center we can get. Um, if any at all. And we got Miritich Robert Williams. That's kind of a cool trade. I know Miritich really is not you know in the NBA anymore. But hey, who's to say he can't come back? Um, he takes over Frank Kaminsky's spot and Robert Williams, you know, I think could be like a DeAndre Jordan type of player in the NBA. So we got Zubac, Landry, Shamit, Brandon Clark. I mean, while there are some better trades being offered up, center is what we need. Jonathan Isaac, of course, is the beast. Ennis Cantor. Um, yeah, I think I'm liking that first trade we saw there, guys. Not really anything else really popping up my way that uh, I absolutely want to do. Troy Brown, Maurice Wagner. Now let's go ahead. Uh, let's take Robert Williams for our starting center and Miritich for a backup power forward. You know, trying to win a championship with the squad out here. So that's the starting five. I love it, guys. To me, that's a championship team, no doubt. That is straight up a championship team. And, uh, yeah, we will go with a... Probably a 10-man rotation, I guess. Because we do actually need kind of a backup center. Um, and, yeah, I guess... Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's get... Let's get Uber at about 30 a game. Uh, Devin Booker, 34. No, we'll do this. 36, 36. You at 33. Robert Williams, you know, we'll kind of split some minutes with some other guys out here. We'll give him probably about 30 minutes per game. But yeah, that is going to be the starting five for this season. And for assist efficiency, we got the, wow, four and a half stars, seven second offense. Was not expecting that. But uh, yeah, I was also talking about tossing, where's he at, where's he at? Yeah, Trey Jones into the G League, Northern Arizona Suns. Toss him into the sun, man. And yeah, besides for that, not much else going on. That is going to be it for this season. Uh, we were 47 wins last year. I think we're even better now. I'm going to say probably a 54-win team. Let's go ahead and simulate this NBA season and see if we can get it done. Okay, so this season, a lot better than I thought. 58-23, and 23, so we definitely should be making a running at least towards the Western Conference Finals, depending on how the other teams do, too. Uh, we could be making a run at the NBA Finals, guys. Giannis MVP, Isaiah Stewart, Rookie of the Year. Good for that, man. DeMarcus Cousins, six-man Kawhi defensive player. Chris Boucher, most improved. And Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year, which means, yes, we are number one in the uh, conference. So, All-NBA first, All-NBA second, and All-NBA third. Yet again, not a single Phoenix Suns making it, but that's because we are a team out there, guys. We ain't all about one man. We're about the whole entire crew. So, we are the first seed. We do have LeBron and the Lakers in the first round, so that's never fun, of course. But uh, let's go with these player stats. And this time we got Tatum being the leading scorer at 26 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Devin Booker, 25 points, 6 assists, 2-headed monster there. Uh, Kemba Walker realistically being like the perfect third option. 20 points, 7 assists. Loki, we are like the Boston Suns or the Phoenix Celtics, however you want to say that. Ubre, once again, great fourth option. Miritich, amazing off the bench. Robert as a starter was 8 points, uh, 10 rebounds, 1 steal, 2 blocks per game. And that's all I think we need on this team here, guys. We, we, like, we don't need DeAndre Ayton. Like, that type of center with this type of lineup is perfect. And, of course, you don't really have a ball stopper, which uh, post players can tend to be these days. You know, just that's just how the game of basketball has kind of changed, right? So, uh, first round, Los Angeles Lakers. Simulate round here, see how this goes. 
and it's not oh wow we're gonna lose first round man we're gonna lose okay we get him four games to two i was getting kind of afraid there for a second lebron james dropping 51 but we drop 145 points 36 from devin booker 29 from jason tatum let's think about this team there's like no stopping all three of these guys right uh next up golden state warriors simulate round here and two through uh three two four two okay we win that one and uh now we do have the dallas mavericks a team that always just kicks my ass in these videos so wow look at that 41 points 38 points 32 points and 15 assists for devin booker which is another reason why um he would be great with tatum too it's just because like devin booker is a very underrated passer this guy can get you the basketball in the right spots out there all right how many points did we score in that last game yeah 152 damn okay dallas mavericks up next simulate round here and uh wow we actually get them four games two we are in the nba finals behind 34 points 19 from devin booker scotty lewis at 18 here we go guys milwaukee bucks are we gonna win the nba championship in only the second season i guess in theory this would be his fourth season with the team so simulate round here and yes we do guys four games to one jason tatum your finals mvp at 26 points seven rebounds per game uh you know what i'm actually kind of feeling another season i want to see if we can go go back to back i'm feeling that third season man you know sometimes it just kind of you get the itch right like you want to go for it so i want to see if i can keep uh, this team intact and everything so uh yeah staff signing we still got dan tony he was good for us as a coach uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about the NBA draft. I've been training all my draft picks and stuff like that, but mainly wanted to see if I can go back to back. So I do know there's gonna be certain players that we are gonna have to try to resign. Uh, Mikel's bag. Oh, we got Robert on the team option. I did not notice that. And Jalen Lequay. I think I said that right. Okay, perfect. I think Ubre's contract is up though, so we'll have to get him back. Oh, Tatum's contract. Okay, that could get a little scary. Could get a little scary. You know, as quickly as we get him, he could be off the team. So we are giving him a max contract. At least the max amount that I can give him. Uh, then Ubre also got to get him back on the team. Give him that right there. And Tatum is getting an offer from the Spurs. So we are going to match that. We are going to agree to Kelly's contract there too. Uh, hopefully they both stick around. Although I think there's always a little glitch in moratorium period with uh, Ubre where it makes you like match or something. I think they're both back on the team. So that should be completely fine. Not a lot of money to work with here. I mean, we got like a little bit uh sarge was on this team before he could be interesting to bring back eric mika 79 overall never heard you bro but uh yeah i think i'm gonna get kelly olenic just because i like the three point spacing centers so we'll get him on the team and yeah we got uh trey jones now for a backup point guard i think i'm gonna go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season okay so we are bringing back the same exact starting 590 overall 92 85 94 and 80 overall for robert williams uh bench unit mikhail bridges kelly olenic scotty lewis and trey jones for our nine-man rotation once again we are going to go with the seven second offense which is four and a half stars uh let's go ahead and simulate this last nba season guys to see if we can become a back-to-back -back champions i'm going to say this team could probably be about 64 wins Okay, so 56 wins this season, uh, roughly what we did last year, so that's okay, we know the end result of that. Uh, one more game against the Los Angeles Fakers, Lakers, not Fakers, I actually don't mind the Lakers, if I'm being honest, man, I don't mind LeBron James. Uh, we got Kate Cunningham, Rookie of the Year, was that this season? I mean, oh, maybe he didn't play for the Pistons. Maybe they put him in the G League. That that, that would be a Pistons thing to do. But I will definitely take, uh, take Cade Cunningham in real life on Detroit. But uh, we got All-NBA first, All-NBA second. All NBA third. Yo, Jason Tatum finally making it. Finally making it here, guys. We are the first seed in the Western Conference. Let's go these player stats on the season real quick. And uh, nearly, not, not quite, but almost at 30 points per game. Seven rebounds. Devin Booker at 26. 18 for Kemba Walker. Once again, team just playing absolutely pristine out there. Okay. San Antonio Spurs simulate round here. Can't imagine who's on their team as of right now. Uh, this is when we got them four games to zero, but now I'm curious. And uh, they still got DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, guys. 35 and 12, uh, 27 for Devin Booker, 26, 10 assists for Kemba Walker. Man, walking all over the competition. Next up, Luka and the Dallas Mavericks. Um, you know, if we don't win, that's fine. Oh, no, I, I, I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. All right, Lakers, we got you in the uh, Western Conference Finals. I just I don't mind you. Don't make me change my mind. Simulate round here. Here we go. And we do have the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA Finals. 52 for Kemba Walker and 10 assists. 32 for Tatum. 20 for Devin Booker. All right, Brooklyn Nets probably still got Kyrie. And, yep, well, they got Derrick Rose now, too. Yo, that's a freaking crazy-ass looking team. But trying to become back-to-back -back champions. Simulate round. And 
Yo, there you have it, guys. Two championship rings. This video always feels nice. Jason Tatum, your finals MVP, averaging 37 points, five rebounds per game, 44% from three. And it just has you thinking the entire time. The entire time is what if the management did not F this up.